action films are usually gonna have guns, but filming with guns is never easy. You can't shoot with real guns, of course, or jail slash death would happen. So in the interest of not being dead or being forced into a gang so you don't get shanked in the showers, it's best to create the gunfire in post because you can easily make fake and toy weapons look dangerous while keeping everybody safe on set. Plus, you can shoot quietly, quickly, and most importantly, cheaply. In hit film, there are two different techniques for making a gun go boom. The simplest and oldest approach is the use of stock footage of a muzzle flash. That's where you take an image or a video of a real muzzle flash, then use hit film's compositing tools to paste it over top of the gun. Mix in some sound effects and you have yourself a convincing shootout, which is what we did for most of Portal Combat. And if you download the project files, you'll get some of those example stock footage to play with. As always, effects look better the more detail you add. A muzzle flash on its own looks pretty good, but if you add a puff of smoke and a flash that seems to illuminate the surroundings, it'll look even better. If you need more flexibility, there's an extra option with HitFilm 3 Express if you grab the destruction pack from the HitFilm.com store. This gives you fully 3D computer-generated muzzle flashes so you can rotate them in the exact right angle no matter what's happening in your shot, and you get an infinite variety of designs. Which technique is best for you is going to depend on your shots and the kind of film that you're making. Stock is great for realism and for individual weapon fire, but if you have thousands of automatic machine guns or sci-fi weaponry, going the CG route could save you some time. Download the project files and watch in-depth tutorials from Simon over at HitFilm to see exactly how to add muzzle flashes into your scene.